Hey everyone, I'm Kim, the mom boss behind Emily and Kay, and today I'm coming out to you with a Witchy Brew inspired Tumblr tutorial. I'll go ahead and take a picture of it on the screen now for you to see. So this Tumblr is really just inspired by this Enchanted Vinyl. I knew I wanted to do some kind of Witchy Brew vibe with it, and I didn't want to do drips because honestly, I hate doing drips. <laughs> I wanted to do something different that would kind of be accessible for people who are kind of beginner to new tumblers as well. So I pulled out my trusty Dawn Power Wash and I think this tumbler is going together beautifully. So as always, I will list and link everything I use in the description box below. I'll also have a view discount code for you down there as well if you want to save on some of the goods. I think that's that. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and prep our cup. We're not going to paint it, you just wanna give it a nice little sand, wash it and dry it. It's not necessary to paint it because we are wrapping it in this printed vinyl. I am using a 20 ounce classic skinny from Hog. So this one is straight, there's no taper, which is what you want when you're wrapping a cup. So the printed vinyl I'm using today is from the Glitter Guy. It's called Witch's Brew, it's so adorable. I've already cut it um, about the size of my cup. I did, I believe, nine and a quarter around and then eight inches high. And so when I wrap my vinyl, I like to hold it in place with just a couple little sewing clips. Um, alternatively, you could use like painter's tape if you have that as well. You just wanna wrap it, get it on there straight and hold it onto your tumbler, one side anyways. Then the other side, I'm going to carefully peel back a little bit of the backing. I do like half an inch to an inch. It's never really the same, I don't measure. Now you're gonna take that side that you exposed the vinyl adhesive. You're gonna use your little vinyl squeegee and this part you really wanna take your time. You wanna get it on there nice and straight because it's already trimmed to size. So if you get it on there crooked, you'll notice it on the ends. It won't give you the full coverage you want. Um, with this step, if you get it on there crooked, you notice it doesn't line up when you double check it before you wrap the whole thing, you can gently peel that away and try again. That's the beauty of this printed vinyl. Just be careful because you can stretch it if you pull too hard. So now I'm gonna use my little vinyl squeegee and you really don't need to pull on the backing at all. It just slips away really nicely. Uh, that makes wrapping a cup in printed vinyl so easy. So if you end up with any tiny little bubbles, you can use your um, weeding tool or a little needle to poke them and squeeze the air out. You wanna make sure that your workspace is really clean, that there's no straight glitter, there's no dust or anything like that. Give it a good wipe um, or a vacuum <laughs> if you're me before you wrap your cup so you don't end up with any little debris under your vinyl. So when you get to the end, you can trim it if you want, but I don't bother. I just overlap it just a tiny bit and then we'll be ready to move on to our stripes. Now that our cup's wrapped, we're gonna go ahead and grab tape. I'm gonna be using just standard electrical tape and then this masking tape that I grabbed at Walmart or Home Depot, I don't remember. Um, it's 1.88 inch. Um, I didn't really pay attention to the size, I just kind of grabbed it because I liked it. But alternatively, you could use whatever you wanted. If you have blue painter's tape, you could just do a double stripe of that. Um, we just want to have a thicker stripe of our vinyl exposed. So I'm going to start with a piece of electrical tape and I'm going to follow the top of my cup. I'm actually just a tiny bit under that top rim, kind of where the vinyl is. And I just want to make sure to take my time and get this on there nice and straight. This is going to set the tone for the stripes along our cup. So I want to do my very best to get it on straight and even. If it's not perfect, we will be adding pinstripes. So not a huge deal, but just save yourself the headache of having to redo your stripes. <laughs> so now we're gonna grab a piece of that thicker masking tape. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply it along the edge of that electrical tape. So again, I'm gonna do my best to get this on nice and straight. Um, this tape is kind of annoying to wrap because it's super thick, so I do get some wrinkles, but it's not a big deal because this is just going to mask off where our paint isn't going to go. So it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be on there to protect that vinyl. Then you want to fold your little, I don't know what this is, little ear, little edge, whatever, so it's easy to remove. 
And then we're going to reuse this piece of electrical tape. So I'm going to repeat this process. I'm going to line my electrical tape up at the bottom of that masking tape. I'm going to wrap it around my cup. And then we're going to repeat the process. So I'll put this electrical on there. We'll do masking, electrical, and masking. So we end up with four sections of exposed vinyl, which includes the bottom and three sections of protected vinyl with the masking tape. So for paint, I'm going to be using Color Shots Center Stage. This is purple. I know it looks blue on camera. I don't know why it does that, but I promise it is purple. So I'm going to vigorously shake my can for a minute, and then I'm going to go in and paint the exposed um, strips of vinyl, including the bottom. I love the Color Shot paints. The coverage is incredible. I never have issues with runs. You just have to make sure that you shake your can for literally a minute. I always set a timer so that I don't, um, you know, kind of chicken out and, and stop shaking after like 45 seconds. So give it a really, really good shake. Paint those exposed pieces and then let that dry. Now we're going to move on to the next painting step. So I really wanted my paint to have that kind of bubbly witch's brew. So we're going to do Dawn Power Wash and we're going to use extra guacamole from Color Shot. So I've already shaken my paint really well, again, a whole minute, and I'm going to use my Dawn Power Wash and I'm going to spray on those um, stripes we painted with the center stage. I'm holding my Power Wash bottle like 12 to 18 inches from my cup because I really want those smaller little bubbles as opposed to larger ones. If you want larger bubbles in your paint, um, move your power wash closer to your cup. So once we have our power wash on there, we're gonna go in with this extra guacamole paint and give that a good coat. Then you're gonna grab your hose, or if you don't have a hose, you can use a bucket or a cup with some water or whatever. You just need to rinse that soap off of your cup. Once you get that soap rinsed off go ahead and let it dry somewhere it really doesn't take long maybe 10-15 minutes and then we'll be able to pull up our paint and we'll really get to see this cup start to come together my cup is totally dry now we're going to go ahead and pull up that masking tape um, normally i would do this off camera but i love how satisfying this is and i already am obsessed with how it is turning out this is exactly what i pictured in my head i love that bubbly witch's brew look oh my goodness the colors are perfect this is looking so cute so far so now our cup is totally dry like i said we're gonna go ahead and mix up our epoxy and I want to put some dragon ice in my epoxy, which is a white glitter from the Glitter Guy. And it has this really beautiful green sparkle, which I thought would go perfect with um, the green paint and kind of pull out some of the green in the vinyl. Plus, I wanted my cup to have some sparkle. So I'm just showing you guys here. I don't measure my epoxy. Um, I have probably a couple tablespoons in there. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I epoxy nine cups at a time. And so I just kind of it a little bit into this cup um, but I, I never measure it like as I'm applying it to a cup so I have no idea how much is going on there <laughs> but I'm gonna grab a silicone stir stick just stir that glitter in really well so that we get a nice even coverage with this on our cup and so you can see I just put in a little sprinkle so I just want this to make my epoxy kind of twinkle I don't want it to cover um, you know heavily or kind of distort my image at all just a sprinkle when in doubt add less and if you want to add more on your next coat you certainly can so we're going to go ahead and apply this to our cup the sparkle on this cup is already unreal you guys i will show you a close-up clip here in just a second but doing this with your vinyl cups adding a sprinkle of whether it be a glitter or a mica powder to add a little twinkle to your cups just really elevates them and takes them to an entirely new level so make sure you get the bottom there and once this is done we're going to go ahead and let it cure my cup only needed one coat if your cup for some reason isn't smooth or you have some dust or whatever in there go ahead and give it a little sand and give it one more coat. We are gonna be using kind of a holographic vinyl for our pinstripes, so you wanna make sure that your epoxy is smooth because that stuff shows up any kind of imperfection. Um, so let that cure and then we'll move on to our next step. Here's a little close up so you can really see that sparkle from that little sprinkle of dragon ice in our epoxy. We just leveled this tumbler up. It's looking so good. 
So I thought I hit record on my phone and apparently I didn't. So I didn't record myself adding our pinstripes. Um, but they're super simple to do. I used a purple holographic vinyl uh, and I cut it with my Cricut. I did, I think, 0.15. Um, and I just made them a little bit longer than my cut. So I think I did like nine and a half because it's got some epoxy on it now. So it's a little bigger than we began with. Um, and I just carefully applied them around each of my stripes. And then here, I'm just using my X-Acto knife to trim off that little extra edge of um, a vinyl because you don't want your holographic vinyl to overlap. I always have issues with it lifting if it does, so I wanna trim it right on the edge so that they're not overlapping um, at all. And then we'll remove those little extra pieces so that they don't lift when we go to epoxy. So after I got my pinstripes on, I did another layer of epoxy and then I went ahead with my Look What You Made Me Brew decal, which I can't find the video for. So um, apparently the universe doesn't want this to be a complete tutorial. <laughs> but I just typed up Look What You Made Me Brew. I will add the font in the description box below. I did a 0 0.05 offset and then I used a holographic vinyl from tech wrap and then I used a dark green vinyl that kind of played well with the green on my tumbler. After that I added two more coats of epoxy and my cup was finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial I would love a thumbs up on my video. If you want to see more tutorials in the future go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy crafting!